probably didn't know, this is National Brain Awareness Week, and Mount Sinai Hospital scientists and surgeons are revealing their research to the public and encouraging Harlem kids to join them in their studies. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell covers Harlem and takes us to the Brain Fair. The annual Brain Fair is part of Mount Sinai's ongoing efforts to diversify the medical field by immersing local students in science. Hundreds of young minds had the chance to press Play-Doh into an imaginative brain, perform seed surgery on a strawberry, and interact with the doctors and medical students thinking about diseases and development in the most complex organ of the body. The fact that it was females and that they were able to teach me about it, so seeing a female scientist made me feel like I could become a female scientist. We need people who've got different backgrounds to apply all of that diversity to how they think about the brain. Because without that diversity of approach, we simply will not make progress. Mount Sinai's unique collaboration between researchers and clinicians allows a streamlined flow of information to more quickly reach brain breakthroughs, all while working to break through barriers in their own industry. There was a lot less of the minorities. As like the society, I'll be like, change that so more people have the opportunity. For nearly 50 years, Mount Sinai's Center for Excellence in Youth Engagement has targeted underserved kids from 7th through 12th grade. Now you're curious, and so the hope from this is that you go on to ask actually go home and research more about the brain. High school senior Christopher Bertrand spends his evenings after school in the Friedman Brain Institute's lab here as a Lloyd Sherman scholar, giving him firsthand experience to jumpstart his advanced studies. That was like that person for me to kind of like introduce me to like be like, you know, this is how it is and this is how it could be. I enjoy like kind of like trying to bring the community together. Right now the neuroscience team is researching the group of brain cells they believe triggers opioid addiction, an issue directly impacting the surrounding Harlem neighborhood. We actually have a treatment that we think could be promising for opioid use disorder currently in human clinical trials. This week, Mount Sinai also announced the establishment of its new Department of Public Health to further help bridge the gap to the community. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And Mount Sinai's Friedman Brain Institute aims to serve as a focus group to show how collaboration between diverse minds can reduce disparities in care. If you've got a story you'd like to share with Jesse, you can email harlemtip at cbs.com.